Kayla and today we are going to be doing some kitchen deep cleaning and decorating for fall. I am so excited to get some fall decor in here. It just makes it feel so cozy and I did a little bit of decluttering as well because I for some reason had like 10 different spatulas and it's just me and my husband in our house so we don't need that many spatulas. <laughs> So I went through uh, all of the utensils in this drawer and got rid of a lot of things and it feels so much better now. So I really hope that you enjoy watching today's video and also comment down below and let me know if you have decorated for fall yet. And if you did, I would love to know what kind of things you did. You know, did you go with a theme? Did you go with a certain color? Tell me all about it because I love to see the kind of decor that everybody does. After getting that drawer cleaned out, this is what I ended up keeping. It is so much less <laughs> than what was in there before. And then here is a big pile of what I got rid of. Let me tell you, it is so much more roomy in this drawer now since I don't have all of those unneeded things in there. Yeah, I just want to get back to you. Take some time I don't want to find No one but you in my arms If it's a test I'm doing my best But it gets hard Being without you got these cute little bows from Dollar Tree and when I bought them I wasn't sure what I was going to be doing with them but I held them up next to these cabinets and the colors against each other just looked so pretty and I love how these look on my cabinet doors it just adds a little touch of something cute while still being you know the bringing that fall feeling into my kitchen and I just used some command strips to hang them up because I definitely don't want to tear my cabinets up once the season is over. Show me a way out, give me a side of the story Throw me a rope in, I've drifted way too far I see it sometimes behind those kind eyes I see it sometimes behind those kind eyes
let me tell you it felt so good to get all of my cabinets cleaned off and the walls we cook with a lot of oil and fats in our house and it just gets everywhere i don't know if there's a trick to keeping oil from getting on things i think if there was somebody probably would have told us by now <laughs> But if there is any secrets to it, or you know some ways that you can keep the oil from going everywhere, I would love for you to share that with me because I would definitely be one that wanted to try one of those tips. So this tea set here is one that came from, I believe, my great grandma on my mom's side. My mom had this set for forever and then she gave it to me at some point when they had moved. And I just love it. It's so pretty and it has some broken pieces, but that's okay. It's one of those family heirlooms. I love when people have family heirlooms to decorate with or to pass down to the next generation. I just think it's really special to have things that your family before you used and now you get to use. I don't really actually, I guess, use them for drinking. I decorate with them, but every now and then my seven-year-old niece will ask if she can use them to drink tea or water out of just for fun. And it's really cute to see her use them. It's different now and I remember From all the colors of September We'd fall into that same honest day Lately I bite more than I can swallow And I've sealed these senses in a bottle Then I wish we could go back
So if you are looking for some more fall decorating inspiration, I have another video that I did some decorating with. I will put it below in the description box. And I thank all of you for watching today's video. I hope that you have a wonderful day or night. God bless each and every one of you, and I will see you next time. Bye!